Ali B here stepping in for Ali G, who is still off, I believe, in Australia right now, doing a sequel to Octopussy, which is the top shelf version of the original James Pond video, which you can see in Daniel the Spaniel's channel. But me and the Terrier, we've been checking out uh, Rita Coolidge, who's a very, very cool diva from back in the, the last century enjoying her music which I believe that only Moonraker has got a better audio than this movie. Moving on, um, forget the title, I'm not making a link between the title is making a statue there. I'll yeah, what I was saying is that I'm not making a link between pussies in Mr. Muhammad Hijab because I got respect for my brothers from another mother. And so what I'll do is I'll talk about the debate in uh, Speaker's Corner last week, which uh, Muhammad took on Mr. J. Smith and I believe got defeated again by a fat grey head uh, man, middle-aged man. But it's the last of the uh, ladder debates. I think the police, they get offended that uh, somebody outside of uh, Grenfell can actually climb a ladder and talk to a crowd, which just didn't happen at Grenfell, did it? So the police come down really strong on that. My respects go out to all of you at uh, Grenfell. Respect. Let's pray for the living, that who are left, that we can come together as a people. And me and Mr. Toti, our ministry is not to just study as Jay's ministry. I'm going into statue mode again. This train's coming. It's not very loud. I think I can keep talking. What I'm saying is that I'm very interested in the words that the holy books speak and I'm throwing down this challenge to Mr. Mohammed Hijab right now and he's got to stand up as a man and I know he got big muscles I know he probably got a quick jab you know we can get it on for charity or whatever you know for the doggy trust or something like that I don't mind but otherwise how are you with your mind is your mind quick Mr. Hijab me and my southpaw, I face you like this. You know, my style is like Lennox Lewis. Just my jab is in your face like this. I just, just like that. That's how I jab. Boom. It's just like less than a split second. But, just like that, Mr. Toti, did you see that? But what I'm saying is that I studied the words and I gave Mr. Hijab my flyer last year. I taught him to study it just as I did all the other Imams in the mosques that we study with and study the Quran with humbly come and study the Quran and other holy books to see what is the message of God is the message of God violence or is the message of God peace which is it perhaps is uh, God has a problem with unbelievers but it's up to us then to convince unbelievers that God is worthy to be praised, not to do damage to them, and in particular to blow them up or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how uh, many James Bond movies you watch, but the most important one is the Jesus movie, the King James Bible. These are the things we should be studying. And so let's move on to what actually the Quran says now. Surah 355, it talks about God telling to Jesus, um, I shall cause thee to die. Now many Muslims, they say that Jesus didn't die. So why did God waste his breath and tell Jesus I was going to cause you to die? Is it because the God of the Quran is a deceiver? 
or is he speaking the truth? You have to make that decision. Is the God of heaven a truthful God, one who, who can be trusted? Statue mode again. But what I'm saying, can you trust the God of the Quran or, or can you say that he's a deceiver? Because he said, blessed, but Jesus spoke in Surah 1933, blessed is the day I die, blessed is the day I'm resurrected from the dead. And so the, 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 the main objection I hear Muslims say is, oh, you don't know Arabic. Well, I tell you what, this is a challenge for you to read out Surah 355, Surah 1933, um, relevant surahs about um, the, the birth of Jesus through Mary the Virgin, Miriam, which we can talk about. But I would like you to read that out in Arabic and I'd like you to do a live translation on your channel if you're a man. Or we can get it on in the rain. It's up to you for charity. Which is it going to be? You have to choose. Choose wisely, my friend. Peace out. Keep it real. Mr. Toti say goodbye. Big up. I understand that if you're a Muslim, that you got to believe in all the things that are written in the Quran, all the things that are written. I've been through this with other Muslims. They say, oh, I'm going to my Imam, I'm going to somebody higher up that knows Arabic better than me. But at the end of the day, nobody has been able to deny the words of Jesus within the Quran and the words of God, your God, Allah within the Quran who says to Jesus I shall cause you to die I shall contend against those who have contended against you I shall rise your followers above all the disbelievers until the day of resurrection it also says in the Quran that those who are followers of Jesus draw close to God it doesn't say that about Muhammad but it says it about Jesus And so the difference between the Jew is that the Jew says Jesus died, but don't agree with he's the Messiah. The Muslims say, well, he is the Messiah, but he don't agree that he died. The true born again Christian will say, yes, Jesus died for our sin, and he's resurrected to be at God's right hand, which the Quran testifies Jesus is in heaven. The Bible says he's at God's right hand, which is the right hand of God, which means um, Benjamin, the Hebrew name Benjamin is son of the right hand. You see, so Jesus came to fulfill all the prophecies from all the 12 tribes of Israel and he is the, the current line of the tribe of Judah who is going to come back and set up his kingdom. And yes, kill this um, Madi, which is prophesied even in the Quran or the Mahdi, whatever you want to call him, will just melt. It's just the presence of God. Keeping in mind that Jesus has been at God's right hand for 2,000 years. And those of us who are Christians know that he existed before Abraham because he said so in the Gospels. Now as it says in the Quran that Mary was chast. You see, that she kept her virginity as it says in the Quran. Many Muslims dispute this, but most of them, you can see it, it's written about half a dozen times within the Quran, you see? And so what you got to say? Some black Israelites say that some angel came down, copulated with Mary, it's a lie, it's very racist to say that. Not at all. No heavenly angel would copulate with a human being, very racist to say that. And so what I definitely go with is what the Bible says. And even the Quran says that she was unchaste. No man, no angel, nothing had touched her. But the Spirit of God came into her. And that was Jesus Christ. Not just a prophet, but the Son of the living God. To bring the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So that man can live side by side in peace. 
with the knowledge of the Prince of Peace, Yeshua the Messiah. Give it up, keep it real, touch the glove, 